Okay, we're coming back around to airlift airbags in a 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan. What's the status after one year? Um, they failed. Uh, the, here's how it happened. Looking back, I now know what happened. Um, when I swapped out the, the snow tires this spring, for my summer tires is when I discovered they had completely deflated. And um, I figured, uh, when I looked at it, all the hoses had broken off. I knew there was something wrong because it wouldn't hold air anymore. But it was the middle of winter and I couldn't do anything about it. I had to wait till it was warm, till I could get under the van and fix it. So when I saw all these hoses were broken, they were crimped and I could see how they failed, um, the up and down movement of the van caused the hoses to flex. And just like even a piece of metal, if you flex it back and forth long enough, it just breaks. Well, that's what this hose did. It has clear crimps where it just fell uh, apart at the crimp mark. And it split. Once it did that, all the air came out. Well, that allowed this bag to ooze down low. Like this actually folded up. This got pushed up. If you take the air out. This got pushed up. This slowly moved down around the base of the van. There's a little cup at the bottom that it sits on. Everything moved down, kind of got pinched between that cup and the coil spring. And there was a big cut along the airbag and it was leaking air as well. So uh, even though I replaced all the hose with this, this is quarter inch pneumatic hose. Yes, it's bright blue, it's kind of funny, but it was cheap, 13 bucks, but it's thick, it's heavy, and I think it'll last and it can take flexing better. It's just stiffer. Anyway, so I called Airlift. Actually, I looked on their website. They have very specific instructions about their limited lifetime warranty. It even says that what's gonna happen is you have to call first and arrange uh, for the return. Then you've gotta actually take the old broken part out and send it back to them. They'll inspect it and then send you back your parts or make a decision then send you back the parts. I called them four times. Uh, they were busy, so I'd hit the button and say, call back. One time they called back after hours. I mean, that I actually thought was kind of decent, and they even apologized, even though I missed the call. It was voicemail. They apologized for calling so late. So super polite Lansing, Michigan company. Airlift, uh, uh, at least from my experience so far, has been amazing. Um, so while I was describing the problem, and I told him the air hoses failed and the bag ripped, he said, what's your address? And I thought he was going to look up my record on his computer, but instead he said, okay, we're shipping them out. And he sent me two brand new airbags and all new hoses and new clamps. Now, I don't need the hoses and the clamps. I'm not going to use them. But how decent was that? I didn't have to ship anything back. Uh, there was no waiting. I didn't have to spend any money. These just showed up in the mail like a week later. So tonight I'm going to put the new ones back in, uh, and I'm... And I'm really excited about it because the van rides so much better with the airlift airbags. I mean, it's amazing to be able to actually adjust the height uh, and the stiffness of the uh, load. Um, so if I had any recommendation, if you're brand new to these airlift airbags and you're going to put them in your van, don't use the stock hose. Go out right now and buy yourself some pneumatic hose. Now here's a tip. You could probably find some hose that fits on that little tiny skinny thing. This is close, but it's too big. It doesn't fit. It's a little loose. But what I found was the hose that comes with the airbag fits over this. You trim it, and then you slide this over the hose. It eats up all the space, and then you put a nice clamp on. And it's absolutely perfect. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, as soon as the van gets home, maybe they're home now, I'm going to start working on it. It's a little tight, but I need it all inside, all on the same level surface. Otherwise, if the nose is down, it's dangerous, it's a mess. So I got the jack stand securely on the frame. This is hanging down. I've got the hydraulic jack on the, uh, what's it called, the trailing arm, the rear axle, and uh, it's holding it up. I've got to remove the shock absorber so the whole rear suspension can just hang loose.
Now the other side. You see the damage that tire did to that hose? Oh man, apparently I left this just out too far. This thing, you see how it mushroomed, like reverse mushroomed here? And this is the base, it pushes up into that, and right here, if you can see it, right here is the brake. It, it's lost its malleability. It's stiff and hard. I'm gonna try it again. Cutting it in hopes of making it more malleable. It's ugly. This is definitely stiffer and less malleable. So longevity wise, maybe I'll be doing this again in the spring. Oh, I hope not. Oh, look at that, so much easier. So possibly a great idea, poor quality components. It's a shame, because man, am I addicted to the way that works. It's smooth and strong, at least for the first thousand miles, until winter hits. Now we just put it back together. Now this was never meant to be an installation video. That was my first one. This really is just the uh, update. Okay, we're back on the ground. Everything's put back together. I hope it's okay. We're towing tomorrow. We are towing tomorrow. So I'm gonna take it for a test drive, see how it feels. Ah, uh, it's holding. I'm feeling so much better about this. Whew. Thank you, Airlift. I hope I don't have to call Airlift in the spring again. I'll let you know. All right, I just got back. It drives beautifully. It drives like a truck again. It feels stiff, strong, solid, perfect. So I am so thankful that the airbags are working. No leak down. Tomorrow I tow the brand new pop-up camper. Did I tell you about the brand new pop-up? We'll get to that. I'll, I will come back around in the spring and update you and let you know how uh, they did and uh, how much they survived the winter. Uh, the winters here are remarkably harsh. I think in a more mild climate you'd be okay. They probably last forever in Florida. Uh, but in Vermont, living a mile and a half on a dirt road, uh, just corrosion, crud, um, impact, salt, rust, uh, I don't know. Uh, it has something to do with the way it uh, just erodes and beats up on plastics and steels and aluminums and you name it. Everything's worse. Everything decays faster here. Uh, but uh, Right now, I still really like them with the air hose upgrade, but again, I don't think that means anything until I've had it through one more winter.